Morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Joe has the night off. Happening now, parts of Oahu and Maui under flash flood warning. And more wet weather could be on the way tomorrow. The north shore of Oahu right now getting hammered. It's been that way throughout much of the night. The National Weather Service said rain falling at a rate of two to four inches an hour. Meanwhile, on Maui, a landslide near the Pua'a Ka'a State Park is blocking both lanes of Hana Highway. Crews are also responding to a downed tree in Waikamoi. So if you're heading out on the road, please drive safely. Justin Cruz has been tracking the system all night and joins us now with what you need to know. Just. First and foremost, Howard Mirsa, there is quite a bit of tropical moisture moving in from the south. So this flash flood watch, which is for all islands through tomorrow afternoon, will most likely be extended into Thursday morning because there's a chance for that lingering heavy rain. Current advisories were including Kauai, but that is now expired for Kauai. In the meantime, Mount Waiale Ale had up to nine inches of rain. Waimea Canyon and Princeville, about two and three quarters inch of rain. Where it's flooding now is along the Ko'olau Mountains from Kaneohe all the way up through Pupukea and Turtle Bay. Rainfall rates, two to four inches per hour. And this has now been extended, the flash flood warning, uh, for until 1.15. It wasn't until 11.15. Just extended two more hours. It looks like this rain is going to persist. On Maui, thunderstorms have been persistent for windward Haleakala from Hana through Haiku. There is still a flash flood warning in place because we had some rain about three to four inches per hour. Even though it looks like the worst of it is over, the rivers are still swollen. So that's going to last until 10 30. All right, looking, uh, looking ahead, it looks like much of the islands will continue to see at least scattered showers, but sporadic heavy rains through tomorrow afternoon, possibly. Possibly through Thursday because there's just so much moisture. Even the possibility of some strong to severe thunderstorms for the islands as this moisture kind of pools around the state and stays here at least until, again, Thursday morning. That's when we're in the clear. Here's what we can um, extract from the latest information from the National Weather Service. Heavy rain and thunderstorms will continue. And for Big Island summits, we have a winter storm warning. 8 to 12 inches of snow possible through tomorrow afternoon with southerly winds and no trades for the next seven days. That wet weather just continues. Howard Marissa, back to you. Howdy, Jess. Thank you very much. I want to take you back out to Oahu's North Shore right now where the stream levels are rising. Alexander Zane shows us now to show us what it looks like out there right now. Alexander. Yeah, Howard and Marissa, we've been out here for about the last hour and a half, and the rain has been intermittent. As you can tell now, it started to downpour once again. And like Justin was saying, from Turtle Bay to here where we are at Sunset Beach, there's been thunder, there's been lightning. No lightning at the moment, but it has been off and on. I'm going to walk out just into the... Uh, this is Kamehameha Highway, sorry, Kamehameha Highway, and you can see it's about ankle deep water along the roadway, and some of the streams in Putalu'u, excuse me, and Pupukea have risen, I'm told, as much as seven to ten feet from around three feet, which is what they normally are at. And again, still downpouring here on the North Shore. Areas along Kamehameha Highway are even worse than this. Cars are taking it very, very slow as they should. You'd see cars are creating quite the uh, the scene when they drive by and the rain here just absolutely a downpour on very much of the north shore that we've been driving through and for the past around it's been intermittent but pretty steady for the past about hour and a half but guys for now live on the north shore where it is a downpour alexander zanes kjon 2 news And this is earlier today, the heavy rain also pouring down on Kauai. This video taken just outside the Kmart store where workers told us the parking lot simply flooded out. And we'll keep you updated on all the latest weather developments through our push alerts. Just download our free KHON2 mobile app.